This is an important alert for you V8 owners of these older Mercedes-Benzes. Anytime you acquire a V8 like this in 1991 and older, you need to immediately, and I mean immediately, pull these valve covers and do an inspection. I don't care what the maintenance records say. I don't care who's been working on the car. Without the proper inspection by removing these valve covers, you could be looking at some catastrophic V8 engine failure. And let me show you why. The first thing I do after removing the valve cover is just give this a quick visual inspection. You know, I'm looking for excessive sludge and oil uh, contamination here. This is a pretty clean engine. I've seen a lot worse. There's no sludge. Of course, there's staining here. But I'm particularly interested in the condition of the cam lobes. I run my fingernail across the tops of each lobe and these are really nice. They're not perfect. You can see minor, very minor scratching there at the top. But I've seen these where they're almost flattened off. Just feel it. You're going to feel it. And it should be kind of round. You know, some of them might have a slight flat spot on one side. But if you feel one that's flat, <laughs> you have a problem. You need to replace the camshaft. So I can check each one of these. And this gives me a pretty good sign that these have been getting oil. Now, this is the oiler tube right here. It's a metal tube, has these plastic clips that clip it to these camshaft tower assemblies. And this is the first thing that can cause catastrophic failure. A number of these engines I've opened up, I've actually seen this come off. So let's see how this engine fares. Let's just take a tug on. Oh, look at that. It just came off. <laughs> this is so typical. Look at that. It just fell right off. Let's go over to this side. Oh, it's loose too. So this means the previous owner of this car really dodged a bullet. Because imagine if this comes off and falls off to the side, which can happen like that. Guess what? You're not getting any oil to the cam lobes or to the camshaft bearings. And I saw one engine seize the camshaft break the chain, pistons came up and hit all the valves, it literally destroyed the engine. That's what I mean by catastrophic failure. These parts are probably less than $10, and look at the grief they can cause. You know, this is one thing I really shake my head about. I don't think the engineers really understood the effects of age and heat on plastic, because we're looking at engines that are sometimes you know, close to 40 years old. You know, the early engines, the early six-cylinder, like in my 280 SL, they had little metal clamps. And I actually thought about coming up with a kit and making a couple little screws and some taps and put maybe one and two clips, metal clips over the top of these. So even if the plastic clips get loose, this oiler tube cannot fall off. I say every 10 years at the most, these plastic clips should be replaced. It's not a difficult job, but if you don't inspect your V8 for this type of a problem, you could be facing some really, really expensive repair. Now for other things that you should inspect, I'm going to send you to my website and I have a manual that takes you step by step through all the things you should inspect on these V8s once you get the valve covers off. Now here you can see I've installed the new clips and you can't just push them on. See how tight they are? So these are interference press fit, and when they get old, like you saw earlier, they can just loosen up and come off. So this is something you definitely want to take care of. If you want these clips, I do include uh, new valve cover gaskets and bolt ceiling rings with them. So you've got everything you need to get those valve covers off and to get these clips replaced on your older Mercedes V8. Also, I should mention with my oil or tube clip replacement kit, you'll receive free video instructions on how to do this yourself.